Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape case for a third generation iPod Nano. And basically what it's going to end up looking like is this. And this was actually my first one that I ever made. And um, here it is when you open it. Just looks like this. Pretty simple, but if you don't know how to make it, then I'll show you. Pretty much the iPod just slips in pretty easily like this. And yes, we are using the third generation iPod Nano, so don't get confused on that. And just slips in pretty easily like that. And goes down. So if you want to make this, just follow the tutorial and you'll be done. So pretty much what you want to do is... Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so what you want to do is cut out four strips of tape that are two and a half inches long. So do that now. And first step, take your first piece of tape and then put two, the two sticky sides together so that's good and take the third piece of tape and you're going to make it three inches long so basically it's two and a half inches by three inches long you can line that up there we go and then see line it up There we go. And just flip it over. Take your fourth fourth strip of tape and put it sticky side face down. All right, so that's good. So you're finished with the uh, first uh, sheet of tape, I guess. And now what you want to do is cut out two more of these. So once you do that, um, just pause the video. Do the same exact method and. Um, what you want to end up is with three uh, sheets of tape that are two and a half inches by three inches long. All right, so once you do that, you want to take two of the sheets and pretty much put them together and put them aside. And you're going to want to take your first, your uh, one sheet of tape. And basically what you want to do is take your iPod Nano and take a piece of paper and just put it over the iPod Nano, trace over it, and you can pretty much use a pen, trace over the uh, little indents here I guess you could call them and assume where the little circle thing for the iPod would go on this paper and then once you do that just take the outline paper and put it over the case so put it kind of center it in the middle and what you're gonna wanna do is just take a couple strips of tape and put it over the paper so go about there. Probably be good. Take another strip of tape. Put it down. Another strip. And you're just basically taping down the paper. All right. So now, next step, you want to take an exacto knife and cut out this little screen here that's where the screen would go and then cut out this whole entire circle so that's what we're gonna do now Now cut out the circle. This is where the little scrolling circle thing would go. All right, so um, that would be good. Now what you want to do is remove the tape and the piece of paper. Just put that aside. This is garbage now. Now what you want to do is kind of remove the little 
pieces of tape that you cut out. You may want to re-cut over the tape because it might not exactly get taken out pretty easily. You might not be able to take it out easily. Go now just remove the bottom. Okay. If you want you can use some scissors, but now we got the hole taken out of that. Now just put that aside. Now just put, pop out the circle that you cut. Once again, you might have to recut over the circle because it might not have gotten punctured enough, hard enough. Okay. Might be lucky and just take it out. Alright, so there we go. We got this cut out. Now this is basically going to be your screen. Next up, you have your two sheets of tape here. What you're going to want to do is take one full sheet and put the part, the sheet where you cut out the tape right on top, directly on top. Now what you want to do is just line it up. Now basically cut out one strip of tape that is about that is two inches two and a half inches long what you're gonna want to do is just cut it in half just like this I already pre-cut it so that's why it's like this so make cut out two and a half inch strip of tape basically take one strip well you can put one strip aside take one of the strips line this up and put the tape at the top may want to remove this line it up now put it directly on top like this flip it over and just wrap the sticky part of the tape around now you basically have your screen like this okay now what you're going to want to do is take, cut out a three, three inch strip of tape and also cut that in half. You're going to take one side of the tape and put it on the side of the case like this. Now flip it over, wrap it around like this. Next thing you want to do is take the next piece of tape that you cut out put it about here half on half off flip it over again wrap it around there you go so now you pretty much have your case as you can see here the iPod just slips in pretty easily looks nice now I'm just gonna show you how to put the flap on the top that's pretty simple all you have to do is take your third strip that third sheet that you cut out put that on top here then take your two and a half inch strip of tape, two and a half inches, put it at the very top. So pretty much take your sheet of tape, put it half on, half off. So that's good. Put it directly on top of your case right here. Flip it over. Like this. I have to line it up like that and just wrap it around now you basically have your little flap for your case like this what you're gonna want to do now is if you have you don't have to do this you don't have to put velcro on here but if you want you can to make it stick so basically take your velcro take two ends like this put them together now just remove the sticky part of the velcro put it on where you want the velcro to go. I want it about here. 
take another piece of velcro put it together remove these so the sticky sides are showing put it about here for me then what you want to do is close the flap on the velcro so it's going to be like that so push down on it then you reopen it and there you go velcro is stuck on so if you like this I, that's pretty much what you do. This is how you make the third generation iPod Nano case. Here it is. If you like it, please comment, subscribe, rate, and catch you back for another tutorial later. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.